the Productivity Hacks channel with Klaus Geisendorfer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a professional business email address through Gmail completely for free using your own domain. So why use Gmail? Gmail has a great mobile app on Android and iPhone. It also has some other really cool features such as Google Calendar and Google Drive. Also, it gives you 15 gigabyte of storage completely for free, much more than any other email provider. So I assume you already registered your own domain through a hosting company such as GoDaddy and you created an email address there. All right, to get started, you can either start with a brand new Gmail account or use your existing one. I highly recommend you do that. Use an existing Gmail account if you have one. The reason is you don't want to set up multiple Gmail accounts and have to hop from one account to another. That's just a huge waste of time. All right, setting up your business email account through Gmail is a two-step process. First, you need to get all your emails somehow into your Gmail account. Second, you need to be able to send emails from within your Gmail account using your business domain. For step number one, there are two options. You can use pub3 or forward. Pub3 means that Gmail periodically pulls your emails from your other domain and pulls them into Gmail. Forward is instant, so I recommend you use forward, but I'm briefly going to show you how to use Pub3 in case you're more comfortable with that. Pub3, you click on settings here in Gmail, you go to accounts and import, you scroll all the way down, and you can add another Pub3 email account of your own, where Gmail will pull that email address into your own Gmail account. As you can see, I have not set up any POP3 emails here. The second one, forward, is the one that I recommend. You can forward, I'm briefly going to show you how to forward Gmail emails. So in Gmail, you can just click on forwarding here and forward emails. However, since you have registered your business domain with an external domain company, you need to set up forward there. I'm going to show you that with two options, one and one and SiteGround. With one-on-one, -on -one, you log in, you go to the control panel, you click on mail. Here you see my email, klaus at amistad.com. I click on settings. And here under settings, I click on edit. And as you can see, I already added my Gmail address here as a forward. In SiteGround, you go to cPanel. And a lot of companies, a lot of hosting companies will have a cPanel. So this step is going to be applicable for many other um, providers. One quick tip, you can just click Control F on your keyboard, search for email. If there's a long list and you directly get to all the um, sentences that have the word email. So here we have your email accounts. I have um, Klaus at Design Dorado. I click on more. Access webmail, which is a little bit confusing. But yes, under access your uh, webmail, you can set up forwarding options here. And yes, you can see I'm already forwarding it to my Gmail address. So what I'm doing is I'm set forwarding all my different email addresses to my one Gmail account. All right, that brings me to step number two. Send emails from within your Gmail account. Let me show you how to do that. So you go back to Gmail, you click under Accounts and Imports, and now you want to add another email address you own. As you can see, I own a lot of email addresses. So you click here, and now you enter the email address you want to set up. I want to set up for Klaus at Design Dorado. Click Next. And in order to find your settings, you can either just search for it in Google by search for um, SMTP settings, SMTP settings. For example, if you're using GoDaddy, you just search for it for GoDaddy. Or if you're already logged in anyways, you can go back to your cPanel. Here, Klaus Design Dorado, I can just click on the More button, Configure Email Client, and here I can see all the configuration details. So I'm going to use the SSL settings, um, the incoming outgoing server for SMTP is secure here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. The username is klaus at designdorado.co.uk. Password. I also recommend you use a very safe password such as characters, letters, 
don't just use your dog's name or so. <laughs> it's not going to be very safe. And um, the port is 465, okay. Add account, and that's it. You've added your account. You now just need to click on your inbox, find your um, verification email somewhere. Here's the verification email. I copy and paste that real quick in here, verify, and that's it. I've set it up correctly. All right, let me show you a couple of more helpful settings. We'll go back here to settings, accounts and imports. So now you can say, I want this to be my default email address. That means that whenever you click and compose a new email, this will be your default sent from. So here you can see, Clouser Design Dorado is always my default sent from email address. Another handy feature is to say, whenever I reply to a message, reply from the same address the message was sent to. So if somebody sends an email to Klaus at MyCater, Gmail will automatically respond from that email address. The last tip I'm going to show you is under General. If you want to create a signature, you can use a signature for different email addresses. You can use a signature for Gmail, you can use a signature for your work address. You can use a signature for a podcast if you run a podcast. So you can use a signature for different email addresses. All right, so that's how you set up a business email through Gmail completely for free. It's a way to look much more professional when sending out your emails. If you have any questions or comments about this video, then please use the comment sections below on YouTube. If you want to learn a little bit more about Gmail and want some additional tips, please check out this video here. I'm going to link to it right here. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. The Productivity Hacks channel with Klaus Geisendorfer.